what's up everybody Naresh here welcoming you back into another video where today we are going to have a look into how to install nest hello video doorbell now if you have been following my channel you might have seen that i've done a couple of wireless doorbell videos and they all were fully wireless doorbells but this nest one required wiring for the power as well as for the chime so in this video i will be showing you each and everything you wanted to know to install if you like to have this nest hello doorbell in your home now the doorbell which we will be using for this nest hello would be this honeywell series 3 wired doorbell you can also use the wireless ones as well i'll be showing you in this video how you can do the connectivity on them too now to power nest hello as well as the honeywell i'll be using a transformer which is capable to supply 0 to 8 0 to 12 and 0 to 24 volt but the one which I'll be using for this Nest Hello as well as for Honeywell will be 0 to 12 volt. Now we are installing this bell transformer inside this box where I will have a dedicated fuse for Nest Hello as well as for Honeywell doorbell. Now for the wiring of this whole system, I would highly recommend every one of you to consult with manufacturer data sheets. Data sheet for your Nest Hello as well as the Honeywell transformer is a pretty straightforward now this honeywell series 3 wired doorbell which is this one you can see that it looks nice and everything pretty decent as well now the good thing about this doorbell is that you can use the batteries as well as the ac power and all the wiring specification for ac as well as the dc batteries is also available in the wiring detail description now the wiring on this doorbell is very easy and straightforward if you like to use the batteries you just need to use four AAA batteries right in here or if you're not using the batteries you need to provide the AC from 8 to 12 volt right in here this Honeywell doorbell also supports two doorbell inputs front as well as rear if you want to now after Honeywell doorbell the next part we're going to look into is the transformer the one which i am using in this build process takes the input of 230 volt ac and converts into 0 to 8 volt 0 to 12 volt and 0 to 24 volt ac which will be good enough to run nest hello as well as the honeywell doorbell now the main show runner which is this nest hello doorbell come with the two important part one with the doorbell camera Another one is the chime connector. Now to install this whole doorbell camera setup, you need to make a drawing or you need to decide how you're going to wire it all. Now, the way I'm putting everything together, I have done a drawing actually myself, but you're also going to get a lot of help from Nest app itself, as well as internet forum for the Nest too, where you have a Nest community, which will help you. I will leave all the links in the video description you would like to install a setup like I have or a little bit similar to that I would help you with the drawing as well now here is the electrical wiring diagram which I am going to follow to install this whole setup where you can see that I have got this Honeywell doorbell camera you can buy any other brand if you want to the nest chime would be right in here and how it will be wired with our transformer which is down this one everything is quite easy and straightforward as far as I can tell because I got a bit of experience of electrical now if you're not confident I would highly recommend you to consult one of the expert it will help you how you're gonna do this all now let me show you some other drawings now here is my second drawing where it's not necessary that you have to use a chime from Honeywell if you got any wireless chime available at your home already you can use that as well but you need to introduce this relay which is 5 to 24 volt AC relay you can also use a DC relay but you need to use a diode right in here to convert AC from nest chime connector to DC if you want I can also show you the drawing for that too now this is a third drawing where I also have the relay as well so in future if I would like to change this doorbell chime I can change it to any different manufacturer or I can go a wireless as well because being introducing a relay I have isolated the whole system at different voltage levels now all the drawings to help you to do this job very easily I'll be putting them all in the video description so you can download them or you can pause here to copy 
the drawing if you want to now you might have noticed that i have used individual fuses on different different parts of this whole setup it is just to make sure that everything is separate and nothing affects each another so if let's suppose i got a problem with the nest hello doorbell being failed it don't affect my honeywell doorbell side of it so that's that's the only thing a separation is a best practice now let me put everything now let me put everything back now let now now all these things you see now all now all the things now all now things like now things like trans now now all now 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 parts like now parts like transformer now parts like transformer nest chime connector fuses as well as this relay which is used in here now now the now now let's go ahead with the wiring where i'll be installing all the pieces which i mentioned earlier like transformer fuses nest chime connector as well as the isolation relay right in this box in here you have already noticed that i have put a 16 mil gland right in here to pass the power cable to power up the transformer as well as passing the connections which will be going to our nest doorbell now this part of the video would be forwarded and if you got any issues in terms of installing any parts which i mentioned in this video please let me know in the comment section below so let's get into that Lions roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come we must never stop the way, yeah Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a strive Now I will be installing Honeywell Chime which will be on top right in here once the box is covered and I think it will look much better like that way rather than on top of the box or somewhere else around it. So now let's power up the transformer and see the, are we getting the expected voltages from the system before we put the fuses on in. Now let's check the input voltage first using the multimeter. And we are getting 230 volt, that's what we expect from it. And let's check the output of the transformer from ground to 12 volt on top of the fuse. We are getting 16.5 volt in ac without load so obviously when we put the load on like this chime or our hello doorbell it will go down that's not bad it's pretty good now the other important thing which you should check is the resistance on the fuse other side to the ground so let's suppose from the zero volt and to the other side of the fuse which is the one which is connected to the devices like chime and a hello door bell so you connect to it if you're getting a resistance in mega or higher that's good if it's less like one ohm or something that's not good at all that means you have got a short circuit so you have to handle that problem first so there we go the whole doorbell system is up and running now i just done a simple dry test on it by pressing this door button right in here You notice that I'm getting a notification on my Honeywell doorbell as well. That's how it works and straightforward it was. 
Now making this box, I followed drawing number three. But what I noticed actually, that this relay, which is 24 volt AC and DC relay, is pulling quite a lot of current, which is turning off my Nest Hello as well. So what I've done actually, I ignore this whole path. Obviously I need to order a relay, which is a five volt or eight volt AC actually, I can, if I can get it. Otherwise I'll be end up using DC with the diode. Meanwhile, I have followed this drawing, which is very easy and straightforward. And that's the first one I have shown you in the beginning of this video, where I have only used white wire from my Nest Chime connector. Gray is left alone without any problem. And that white wire is connected into my Honeywell door bell. Standard AC voltages are used right in here for the Honeywell door bell with the fuse, all same exactly like you see right in here. Now, let's turn it on again. Voila. Now let's go ahead and install this whole system and see its performance. So there we go. Now I've completely installed this box and all wiring has sort of hidden it around as you can see that and I turned it on from here. But in future, I'm sure I'm gonna go to the switchboard. Let's power it for the dry run. Now you can also see the infrared sensor which is in front of it as well. Doorbell. Now my intentions are to install this nest on the ledge of this door by using the wedge so I don't cover up the wall side here. So it will be facing a little bit down that way, which will be better so I can see everything in front of the door. So let's go into it. I have passed, I have passed all the wiring through the door ledge, as you can see that. And now we're going to install this mounting bracket with the wedge on it as well. So let me do that quickly. So there we go, ledge is installed. So has the wiring been done on the Nest Hello as well. Let's put it all, all in together. Voila, voila, there we go, fully installed. Now let's power it up. And check his performance okay trial now Whoa! voila worked in a one go so that will be all guys I suppose I have give you enough information that how you're going to install your nest now if you'd like to know more detail about it that how you can configure in your software please let me know in the comment section below i'll be happy to help with that as well furthermore to it i also have a google home which announces the who's at the door configured with this nest as well now let me show you very quickly and i'll close this video on that note now on this google home hub you can also tell it to show you the front camera okay google show me front door all right streaming the front door on living room display voila there we go that's how easy and straightforward it is i hope this information and this video would help you let me know in the comment section below and stay tuned for more videos like that see you then guys bye for now